అర్థమయ్యేటట్లు వివరించే లెక్చరర్ లేకపోతే కష్టమే అలా ఇబ్బంది పడుతున్న స్టూడెంట్స్ కు చక్కని మార్గం కేబి టెలివిజన్ మీకు అందిస్తున్న ఈ క్లాసెస్ మరి ఈ రోజు ఎపిసోడ్ లోకి ఎంటర్ అయిపోదామా నిన్నటి క్లాస్ లో కోఆర్డినేట్ జామెట్రీకి సంబంధించే సర్కిల్ థీరీ గురించి తెలుసుకున్నాం కదా మరి ఈ రోజు ఎపిసోడ్ లో కోఆర్డినేట్ జామెట్రీ టాపిక్ సంబంధించి కానిక్ సెక్షన్స్ గురించి తెలుసుకుందాం మరి మ్యాథ్స్ బోధనలో ఇరవై ఐదు సంవత్సరాల అనుభవం కలిగిన టిఎస్ రవి గారు ఈ టాపిక్ గురించి వివరిస్తారు circles and system of circles you get 22 marks weightage we have elaborately discussed all the models there now in this episode let us take conic sections parabola ellipse and hyperbola the conic sections are parabola ellipse and hyperbola please look at the lessons ones parabola 2 ellipse and 3 hyperbola and from these topics you get again three long answer questions and around 20 marks so it is better you concentrate on them in a careful and clear manner the lessons are parabola ellipse and hyperbola now each in turn first i'll introduce you the concepts with some of the examples once you have the concepts and examples then we can work out examination questions first let us take up the concepts these are all conic sections what is a uh, parabola what is now let me write the key points of parabola and the important questions in the parabola first let me take the parabola it's a very important what are the key concepts what are the important concepts of parabola let us note down let us write them the key concept is one standard equation of a parabola is standard equation of a parabola is standard equation is y square is equal to 4ax most of the time when we do with the properties of the parabola we represent parabola equation in the standard form y square is equal to 4ax and do our problems when you take up this the as a y is having square this function this particular parabola will be symmetric about x axis so this is symmetric about x axis please look at this parabola once y square is equal to 4ax this is the standard equation once you have the standard equation its focus is focus is a comma 0 this is the focus of the parabola a comma 0 and here the directrix is i am just writing the results to recall i am not going to just prove them directrix is x plus a is equal to 0 this is parabola's directrix this is minus a x plus a is equal to 0 this is called the axis of the parabola this is called axis of the parabola and this is directrix and you can observe directrix is perpendicular to axis directrix is perpendicular to axis now this is vertex of the parabola and what do you when the parabola is in the form of y square is equal to 4ax the vertex is you can look at this vertex is 0 0 the vertex is 0 0 and this is lattice rectum this is lattice rectum ll dash i define what is a lattice rectum lattice rectum is the double ordinate passing through the focus it should pass through the focus and it is double ordinate two times y coordinate or lattice rectum is a line perpendicular to axis and passing through focus perpendicular to axis and passing through focus and you know very well lattice rectum length is 4a in a parabola the length of the lattice rectum is 4a and um, please i am giving you all the fundamental concepts and l coordinates are a comma 2a l dash coordinates are a comma minus 2a because one is above x axis one is below x axis 
So L is equal to A comma 2A, A comma minus 2A. So look at this once again. Standard equation is y square is equal to 4ax. The shape will be like this. And in case if the equation is x square is equal to 4ay, if the equation is in the form of x square is equal to 4ay, the shape will be symmetric about y axis. I will show you that also. First look at this standard equation. Focus. Focus is a0 on the x axis. Directrix equation x plus a is equal to 0. Vertex is 0, 0. LL dash is equal to 4a is the latter sectum. Sometimes they, I, I show you one example. This is our standard equation. Now, on this, I will show you an example, please look at this. Find, uh, for, suppose, find vertex of y square is equal to 7x. Let us see, find vertex of y square is equal to 7x. Vertex and also find, and also find focus. This is my question. This it is a small introduction to you. Please look at this. Find vertex and also find focus. It is in the form of y square is equal to 4ax. So 4a is 7. Your a is 7 by 4. Once you have a, the vertex is anyhow 0, 0. And focus is 7 by 4, comma 0. Because it is a, comma 0, 7 by 4, comma 0. This is one of the important items to follow find vertex of and also find focus. So this is a small example on the concepts. Now, when you take, suppose in case you take the parabola x square is equal to 4ay, x square is equal to 4ay, in this case the parabola will be in this form, the focus will be here, which is in the form of 0 comma a, because if this is on y axis, the focus will be 0 comma a, that is what you should note down here. Now, uh, all the other things, directrix will be here and all the th things will just exchange x and y things. If it is minus 4a, the curve will come down and all the four curves shapes, one will be like this, one will be like this, the opposite one, one is above, one is below. You should see you very carefully which curve is being asked, then only you can discuss. This is the first uh, concept. And when you take y square is equal to 4x again, if you take up y square is equal to 4x again, this is most important. Uh, we have all the results, what all the results we have in circle, tangent equation, chord of contact and midpoint chord, chord with a midpoint, polar equation, pair of tangents, all of them are also here. But because of the notation, the same results we can apply here also. Let me show you and if a point is P is x1, y1, P is x1, y1, the first point is parameter co parametric coordinates, parametric coordinates of the parabola are 80 square comma 280, 80 square comma 280. For every value of t, this represents a parabola, 80 square 280. In the place of x, you keep 80 square. In the place of y, you keep 280 it is satisfied. So, parameter coordinates, sometimes these are denoted by t, at t means at 80 square comma 280. Parameter coordinates at t means at 80 square comma 280. That is an important aspect here. Once you have the parameter coordinates, the second point is equation of tangent, equation of tangent. Like in circle, it is S1 is equal to 0. Equation of tangent is S1 is equal to 0. What is S1 here? It is y y1 minus 2a into x plus x1 is equal to 0. This is S1 is equal to 0. And I, equation of chord of contact, equation of chord of contact, it is chord of contact is also S1 is equal to 0. As we are telling the results at uh, the results we did in circles, same results hold. But the point and the equation of the curve changes. The point and the equation of the curve changes. Equation of chord of contact is S1 is equal to 0. And the fourth one is, please look at this. Equation of polar. Equation of, this is not that important. You need not uh, worry about this. Polar is S1 is equal to 0. And uh, let me show you the fifth one. Look at this. Parametric coordinates. 
equation of tangent, equation of part of contact, equation of polar. Now, please uh, let us have some background about this. If you take chord with a midpoint.